What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a low-impact cardio workout for beginners. There's no equipment required for today's routine. But if you'd like to increase the intensity, feel free to grab a couple of light hand weights or water bottles. Follow along with me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to begin, let's get moving. Let's get started with a warm up. Our first move for the day is gonna be a march in place. We're gonna start with both elbows bent at a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna bring up opposite side leg. Now you'll notice that we're both bringing up that leg until it gets to about parallel to the ground, but if you can't get your leg up that high, that's all right. Do the best you can. This is, after all, just the warm up. So make sure you're moving at a warm up pace Nice and relaxed here. And the purpose of this warm up is to increase your overall body temperature, get your heart rate up, and we're even gonna improve your mobility and flexibility a little bit as well. Making sure to breathe and just keep moving. And again, your pace is gonna really be determined by your fitness level. If you wanna go much slower than us, that's okay. Or if you wanna go faster than us, it's gonna be important that you tailor today's workout to your specific needs, and we're gonna do our best to give you the tools to make that happen. Let's go ahead and keep this one up for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, this next one's gonna really loosen up and warm up your back. I want you to sit with your weight back in your hips, feet shoulder width apart, and we're gonna do a pull the rope. So just as the name, suggests we're gonna pull, act like we're pulling a rope pulling back from those elbows every time squeeze that back and we're not just pulling with our hands but I want you to act like you have a rope actually attached to those elbows and somebody's pulling those elbows backwards it's gonna make sure that we engage those back muscles also make sure you get a nice big reach on every pull again we're breathing here and moving at a warm up pace. There'll be plenty of time for the actual work coming up. Keep that back straight, a little weight back in your hips. So it should be working your legs a little bit as well. So don't just be standing up big and tall, but instead make sure that you're sitting back almost like you're getting ready to sit into a chair. Let's keep this one up for five, four, three, two, one, Zero. All right, one more move in the warm up. We're gonna loosen up our posterior chains. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. Arms are up. I'm gonna do an opposite side toe touch. Bringing my weight back in my hips with a slight bend in my knees and touching opposite side toe. And I'm actually just gonna go down and touch my knee and come right back up. But of course, I'm still emphasizing hinging at the hip and pretending like I'm trying to hit my rear end against the wall right behind me. So we're not squatting down and breaking and bending at the knees, but instead it's all about that hip hinge, getting those hamstrings, glutes, and lower back to work and to get warmed up as well. Mm -hmm. Trying to increase that blood flow back there. Standing up big and tall in between sets. Try your best to keep your head in line with your spine on this one. So that means don't have your head looking up at the TV or phone or computer whatever you're watching us on but instead keeping it in line with your spine and if you're somewhere between these two and you want to reach down and touch your chi uh, your shin that works as well again we just ask that you make this move your own and five four three two one 
Zero. All right, warm up is complete. Ooh, yes, you ready it to get is. this workout started? I'm nice and warm. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to need our hand weights for the first one if you're using them. We're going to move into an arm jack plus high kick. We're going to use a lot of compound moves today, and this is one of them. So we're going to do an arm jack, and I'm performing a high kick, bringing that knee up and then kicking out. And I am going to do a low kick. So if you can't bring your leg quite as high as Coach Kozak, just go ahead and do a low kick. Again, making it your own. Making sure you have a slight bend in the leg that's on the ground. It's going to give you a little bit more stability and balance. This one's not only going to get your heart rate up, but it's also going to help you work on that stability and balance. It's working your shoulders, your legs, your core, all working together to make this one happen. A lot of stabilization going on right now. Yeah, there is. You can feel it in, in my that. core. Exactly. It's a hidden ab exercise. You don't really look at it and say, hey, that's an ab move, but your ab really has to work to keep yourself upright on this one. Woo. Making sure to breathe, feel my shoulders too. I am definitely feeling those shoulders. If at any point it, these weights get a little too heavy for you, feel free to drop them. Let's keep this one up for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, set the hand weights down if you're using them. We're gonna work our way on over to either a wall, couch, whatever you have access to. We're gonna do a wall push up plus a high knee. So we're gonna go push up, high knee, high knee. And on this one to make it easier, come closer to the wall. To make it harder, step back further from the wall. We have our hands in line with our chest. We don't want them in line with our face, but instead, nice and in line with our chest. And as we're doing that push up, making sure to bring our chest to the wall and not stretching our face to the wall. Keep your core tight, back stays straight. And again, making it easier if you need to by just bringing those feet closer to the wall and getting yourself into a more upright position. Or if you wanna make it harder, go ahead and step back. Whatever you do, just keep moving and keep breathing. You got it. Doing this one for 10 more seconds in total, getting as many repetitions in as you can here in this a lot of time period. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ooh, good one. All right, picking those hand weights back up if you're using them. We're moving into an alternating bent over arm swing. So feet are shoulder width apart, bent over at a 45 degree angle with those palms facing down. We're gonna swing one arm up, opposite arm back. Keeping your back tight, core nice and straight. And your head in line with your spine. And modification on this one if you need to is just more or less weight. That's right. And you can do this one with no weight at all as well. Making sure to breathe, whatever you do, do not hold your breath. On this one, try your best to keep your shoulders square to the ground so we're not twisting side to side but instead keeping those shoulders nice and square, just moving from the arms. And your mobility might not quite be what ours is, but make it work for you. And keep coming back and you'll see your mobility improve. Yes, exactly. Be consistent. That's what it's all about. It's not about being perfect. It's just about putting in the work, getting a little bit better. That's right. Every time. Pro progress, not perfection. And this one's working your legs, working your abs, shoulders, your back, and your triceps. Another great compound move. Today's workout is very efficient, getting a lot of work in in a short period of time. Not much left on this one. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, Ooh. Excellent. All right, we're gonna take those hand weights or just your arms, put them up overhead, straight overhead. Now we're gonna go a march in place. So it's an overhead march in place. So the shoulders are gonna have to work just keeping those dumbbells up. Or I feel it. Up. And again, if you need to drop the weights and just put your arms up overhead, feel free to do so. Making it work for you, that's the key. And if you, need, if you can get your knees all the way up and thighs all the way up to parallel to the ground, great. If you need to have them a little bit lower, 
then that's cool too. Just keep moving. One step right into the next. Try to keep those biceps by your ears. And as this workout progresses and it just keeps getting tougher, it's important that you remember what brought you here today to begin with. What made you start this video? What made you start this workout? What are you looking to do? What are you looking to achieve? Keep that at the front of your mind. Whether you're trying to lose weight, just get more fit, or just get better at kicking life's behind, whatever it is. Stay focused on it. You got it. Let's keep this one up. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Keep your hand weights if you're using them for the next one. We're gonna do an opposite side arm and leg raise. So right arm comes up, left leg comes up. And then we're gonna alternate. Left arm comes up, right leg comes up. Ideally, we're bringing that arm up until it's about parallel to the ground, keeping a slight bend of the knee of that leg that's our stabilizing leg, the one on the ground. Make sure you don't have that leg locked out, keeping our balance, trying our best not to lean in any one direction, but staying upright. That's right. And if you can't bring your leg kick out to the side quite as high, do what you can keep yourself nice and stable and from leaning over like coach Kozak mentioned and if you need to drop those hand weights feel free to do so and again this one's gonna work our shoulders our legs adductors abductors glutes oh yeah core our abs definitely feel the glutes working here oh yeah I like it feeling that little glute burn it's always a good thing also working our balance and stability that's right so very important that we always work that as well comes in handy in our day-to-day -day life making sure we don't fall or injure ourselves and if you need to find a focal point on the wall or on the floor to help you keep your balance it's just a good little trick to help you that's it if you're looking down you're gonna be a lot more likely to fall or you're looking all over the place so instead find that focal point just keep your eyes locked on it you got it, keep it up. Not much left on this one. Here we are for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, we're holding on to our hand weights for the next one. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's get those hands up by your chin in rack position. I'm gonna sit back, weight back in my hips, performing a full squat. And I'm actually just gonna go into a quarter squat. We're both gonna stand up and twist and punch in the opposite direction. Hand comes back and back into the next squat. You decide how deep you wanna go on that squat, if you wanna get that full depth squat, or if you're feeling more of the quarter squat today. Or if you're feeling somewhere in between those two, then go ahead and find your sweet spot. That's it, making it your own. And on that punch, we're twisting with our core, not just punching our arm across, but actually rotating with our hips and then pulling it back in. And on that punch, we're pointing with that thumb and that'll give us the right torque and twist on that punch. Pull it right back to the chin after every punch. Excellent. Making sure to breathe. This one's gonna work your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, your abs, obliques, shoulders, triceps. Again, we told you this was an efficient <laughs> workout. A lot of body parts getting hit in this one move. And again, we're pretending that we're trying to sit back into a chair and coming right back up. That's it. Making sure to keep your feet flat on that squat. You don't wanna be coming forward onto your toes. Feet stay flat. And watch those knees. Breaking at the hips first and then bend the knees. Don't bend your knees first because that's when you end up down at the bottom on your toes. Hands coming back to your chin after every rep. Keep it up, you're doing great. Nice work. Come on, let's go. Remembering what brought you here today to begin with. What is it, what are you working on? And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we only need one hand weight for the next one. We're gonna do a staggered knee to elbow crunch. So feet are in a staggered or split stance, one leg back, and that same side arm is gonna be up overhead. We're gonna bring that knee 
to your elbow, return it back up. Keep a bend in that lead leg, that lead knee for balance. And if you're feeling good on this one, you can increase the pace. Or if you want, you can go a little bit slower. You decide what you need right now for your specific fitness level. That's right. And we're crunching every time we bring that knee into our elbow, contracting those abdominal muscles. It's a great standing ab move. You know, notice we're working those abs without having to crawl down on the floor. Excellent. We're going to split time half and half on each side. So let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side. Now switch arms up and right back into it. Good. Staying under control. We want to go as fast as we can, but at the same time, maintaining proper form. Back stays straight. This one's working your legs, your abs, your shoulders, your back, all working together to make this move happen. We should just call this the no muscle left behind workout. Ooh, I like it. Be a very, Everything's getting worked. <laughs> be a very applicable title. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep moving. Think about how good you're going to feel when this workout is all done and you can cross it off your list. That's right, nice and accomplished. That's what it's all about right there. Day after day, putting in the work so you can see those results. It's not gonna be easy, but it will be worth it. Keep it up here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. And this one you can either, again, next one you can either use your two hand weights or drop them, totally up to you. We're gonna do a push pull plus butt kick. We're we'll alternating side to side, bringing that heel back and kicking yourself in your own butt, keeping those arms parallel to the ground. We're pushing out with our palms and then we're pulling back from our elbows, engaging our back muscle. Woo wee, yes we are because I can definitely feel it. Exactly, that's what I said. It's <laughs> up to you whether or not you want to use those hand weights or not for this one. It's a deceiving move, doesn't look like much, but it'll get you fast. Oh yeah, especially after everything else you've been working so hard on. Oh, exactly, it's a very cumulative effect, that's for sure. You got it, just keep moving here. And if you need to set those hand weights down mid-set, feel free to do so. But just keep moving, we want to keep that heart rate up. Excellent work. Come on. Let's go. Every repetition is getting you that much closer to your goal. And it doesn't matter how slow you're moving, you're still lapping everybody else that's just sitting on the couch and, and not trying. And thinking about working out. That's it. Thinking about working out burns zero calories per hour. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Not you, you're putting in the work right here, right now. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, go ahead and set your hand weights down for the next one. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart and our arms out straight to our sides. I'm gonna perform a twist plus straight leg raise. And I'm gonna perform a twist and a knee raise and we are twisting into the knee or the leg that is being raised. And the amount that you twist on this is really gonna depend on your fitness and flexibility levels. So if you wanna do a full twist where you're almost looking back, feel free to do so. If you only feel comfortable with like a 45 degree twist, then that works as well. That's right, we want you to stay healthy. Go ahead and keep a bend in the knee of that base leg. We don't want to lock that out. Moving at a controlled pace. If you're feeling good on this one, you can move a little faster. But again, safety is our number one priority here on this one. That's right. This one's great not only to get your heart rate up and to work that core, shoulders, and legs, but also to gain some mobility in that thoracic spine, which is so very important. And again, of course, we are breathing, not holding our breath. Keep it up. Stay focused on this one. 
It's all about concentration. If you break that concentration, you will fall. And you'll notice we're not perfect on this one either. It's not about being perfect. It's just about putting that work in, getting a little bit better every time. You might find that your balance improves as you progress through this movement. Exactly. The first just, few are just a little shaky. That's it. As you get used to it and your body gets used to the move. Let's keep it up for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Right, let's go and pick up those hand weights again for the next one if you are using them. We're gonna do a sumo touchdown plus reach. So feet are a little bit wider and shoulder width apart. Point out on those toes. Sit back with the weight in our hips. I'm gonna go all the way down. And I'm just gonna go about halfway to where Coach Kozak is going. And we're gonna curl up, press, reach overhead, back down and repeat. So if you feel comfortable going all the way down and touching the ground while keeping good form and keeping your back straight, go ahead and do so. But if you just wanna go about halfway and that's really what you can do while keeping good form, then feel free to do that. Making sure to keep your back straight on that sumo deadlift. You don't wanna break and round and bend over like so, but instead keeping that head in line with your spine, sitting back with your hips. Feet stay flat, don't come back onto your heels or roll forward onto your toes. Curl up, you get a nice big reach overhead, finishing with those biceps by your ears. Again, just be realistic with yourself on just exactly how far you can get down. If you're not quite where you wanna be, then that just means that you have a little bit of work to do. Well, that and it's room for improvement, right? Exactly, improvement and progress. That's it, coming back, getting a little bit better. It's those small steps, day in and day out, they're gonna get you to your goal. Not gonna happen overnight. No. But if you stay consistent, you will get there. Come on, keep it up. Remember, and you're a fighter, not a quitter. You're not racing with us, not competing with us. You're competing with the you from yesterday who couldn't do it. Getting a little bit better every single day. That's it. Come on, keep it up, everybody. You're doing great. Getting there. That's it. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Not much left on this one. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay, next one is gonna be a seesaw row. Feet your shoulder width apart. It's bend over on that 45 degree angle. Arms are hanging down, shoulders are nice and square. Let's pull back from the elbow, alternating arms. So that seesaw row, pulling back from the elbows like you get a string attached to the elbows. Squeezing your back up top every time. Again, keeping your head in line with your spine, bent over at that 45 degree angle, hinging at those hips, like you're trying to touch your booty to the wall behind you. And don't be surprised if you feel this one in your legs as well. It is by design, just keeping that solid base and foundation is going to engage your legs. And your core. Doing this seesaw row, you definitely have to engage that core to stabilize. That's it. Again, another efficient move hitting multiple body parts in just this one move. Whatever you do, don't hold your breath. Just keep moving, you got it. Let's go, let's go. How many seesaw rows can you get? Coming back, getting a little bit better every single time. Pulling back from those elbows. Come on, you got it, you got it. Fighting through it. Don't stop when it hurts. Stop when you're done. Keep it up. You're almost there. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. Remember what brought you here today. What are you working towards? Come on. Every rep, you're getting that much closer. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. You made yes. it. Nice work. Set those hand weights down. We're moving into a cool down next. And the purpose of the cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down slowly and at the same time gain some added flexibility. So we need you to move on over to a wall or something comparable. 
We're going to do a wall angel. Great one for back and shoulder and chest mobility. Go ahead and put your head up against that wall, shoulders against that wall, and entire upper body the best you can. Now let's bring those arms up overhead. If you have a bun in your hair, it might be a little hard. <laughs> and now we're going to pull down on those elbows and then extend those arms up overhead. Ooh. Trying our best to keep our arms flat on the ground, I'm sorry, flat on the wall, while also keeping your upper body flat up against the wall. This one's going to test your flexibility and mobility much harder than it looks. Quite a challenge. But it's a great one to help improve your posture, really get you back to that natural upright position. Also a great one to expose any weaknesses that you may have. Making sure to breathe. Not a race on this one. Just nice and controlled moves. The workout's done. Just time to loosen up those shoulders because they did get a lot of work in today. They sure did. Said I'm feeling mine, but it's a good pain. That's how I know it's working. Let's keep it up for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Shake those shoulders loose. Let's move on to our posterior chain. We're gonna do a one leg hip hinge. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's go ahead and put one leg out on that heel. Pull those toes back. Now bending over only at the hips, hinging at those hips, keeping our back straight. Coming down as far as you can while keeping a nice straight line throughout your spine. Feeling a stretch all down the back side of that one leg that's extended out. Making sure we're pulling back on those toes that's gonna help us to also stretch out our calves. Another body part that got us some good work in today. And it's just a static stretch, so we're just gonna hold here and breathe. Nice, big, deep breaths in and out. And again, you really doesn't take a lot of range of motion on this one. It's not like bending over and trying to touch your toes. Our goal is to really just hinge at those hips and keep our back straight. For three, two, one, zero, stand up. And let's switch opposite side leg now. Again, coming down on that heel, pulling back on those toes, hips go back as we bend over, keeping our back straight, trying our best to keep those shoulders retracted. Head is in line with our spine. Again, not about being perfect, just trying our best on this one. We're all in it together, getting a little bit better every time. It's a good time in the workout to take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. We all live such busy lives, going from one task to another all day, every day. I think it's important to take a second to say, hey, you know what? I think I'm doing all right. I can cross this one off the list and just be proud of yourself for the work that you've put in so far today. No matter what else the rest of the day brings you, this workout is done. Let's hold it for three, two, one, zero. Stand up nice Ooh, and slow. Felt nice. I did, I like that one. Okay, we're gonna move on to a standing quad stretch next. So this one you can either do on your own or you can grab a wall, a chair, a couch, whatever you have access to. I'm gonna go ahead and just hold on to the wall for this one today. Let's go ahead and pull one foot back like we're trying to touch that foot or that heel to your glutes. You see Claudia is doing the more advanced version with that opposite side arm up. And I want you to try to keep that knee down and not pull it out to your side. By pulling it out to your side, it actually limits the amount of stretch that your quad is getting. So keeping it down and nice and close to you. Woo. Also test your balance Woo. as well. Actually, sure they, does. they both do. Even if you're using the wall or chair, <laughs> it still kind of tests your balance. Or you can put your arm out to the side if that helps you keep balance. Whatever helps you get there. Making sure to breathe and just keep pulling that foot back, stretching that quadricep. And all these static stretches, we're trying to get to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. Want to get a good stretch, but it shouldn't be really hurting. Three, two, one, zero. Down nice and slow. Let's switch sides now. I'm going to pull it on up. And it's totally common for one side to be tighter than the other. Definitely. Really just <laughs> depends on your day-to-day -day activities. That's the story of my life. Right? <laughs> one side is weaker or hurts more than the other. You know, we're always trying to, uh, to build up those weaknesses. Or That's right. 
correct those imbalances. Exactly. Yeah, just it's all part of this this fitness game, to understanding what our own individual strengths and weaknesses are, and and working on them. Again, not about being perfect. We're just all trying to get better. Making sure to breathe. Nice big deep breaths in and out. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. That's it. You made it. Excellent, Excellent work. work. Excellent work to you out there. Excellent work, Has Fit Tribe. Please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free by donating to our Patreon page. You can download our app or by picking up some HasFit gear or my book, Stay Fit for Life. And if you enjoyed this workout routine with us today, we ask that you please give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for giving us the pleasure of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.